the day before every test match, after the players have received their match jerseys, the official team photograph takes place. And while it might seem to some as a simple process, there's a lot more science and structure to it than you might think. Team Logistics Manager JJ Fredericks explains. Team photo is uh, very important day, the day before the test, after they get ended the test match jerseys by the coach. And obviously people see the team photo, but team photo, the structure there is not a free ball. It's not, I'm first there and I must sit. Obviously we'll have the coach in the middle with the captain on his right hand side, always on the right, the vice captain to his left. And then you'll see some other guys who are sitting, the most senior uh, players, and I'm talking about senior in terms of caps. So you'll see Eben in the middle region because he's on 122 tomorrow. And we work a day from all the most senior caps guys in front and the rest will, will fall into the middle and obviously the tall timber at the back. So we always want a serious face to go out in the media. This is when the guys fold their hands and I've called it a match face because <laughs> that, is, that is what the people must see when they run onto the field. And obviously there's one for, for families and friends where we, where we joke around guys folding their arms or standing uh, like school children, hands behind the back with your chest out. I always tell them stomach in and chest out so that they can look bigger when, when the people see the photo. Hours before the Springboks arrive at any stadium for a test match, team logistics manager JJ Fredericks and his team come to make sure that the Springbok dressing room is a place of familiarity and inspiration. JJ explained to us all the details that he goes into to prepare the changing room for a test match day. I'll come three hours before the team bus arrives at the stadium. Uh, I'll have lots of bags, lots of studs, extra studs, shorts, socks, because some of these guys uh, sometimes will get their stuff at the at the hotel. Yeah, and with me I'll have the second set of jerseys. The jerseys that they received this morning, they will hold on to it. But tomorrow morning when they step into the change room, there will be jerseys placed in their cubicle with their home up with their home up jersey. And obviously, as I said, I'll bring with me the toolbox which carries the pliers. Pliers is very important because when the guys see the conditions whilst coming up, they will instruct me or ask me to change their, especially the forwards, their boots from 18, mil 18 millimeters to 21 millimeters. And I've got with me, I've got the, when it's, when it's, when it's cold, we've got the bench jackets. So I bring all those stuff with me and to ensure when they step into the change room, that they at ease, they can only focus on the game. The pennant uh, is very special because on the pennant, it's the, the, the Mets, the, 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 the game embroidered on the, the stadium where we play the date. And that is actually the cap for the guy. Uh, they treasure that. I don't know how, how, how did uh, how's Eben's house looking because he's, tomorrow you'll get 122 of them. Also Victor Matfield. I don't know what he did. I spoke to his wife once and she said all that stuff. She chucked it into the garage. So, uh, yeah, so, 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 the, so the, the pennant is very, very, very special to those guys.